Hi, this is Soulgazer. Today, I was thinking of doing two unboxing, uh, two jersey reviews, and one was from Lids and another one from Fanatics. And I got this yesterday. Um, I took my label off, but this was supposed to be uh, Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James jersey. I think it was Icon. Edition, but when I opened it, it was in the wrong color. So I thought, oh, maybe I order a couple different things. And I looked at it, and this is what I had. I checked my order. My invoice only had one item. This was not in the list. But they sent me this instead. I guess they knew I was a Warriors fan. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do that review. I was kind of looking forward for it because the jersey was $33. It was a really good price. Unfortunately, this is some stupid t-shirt that I never wanted. Um, overpriced t-shirt. I checked online. This was $18. Uh, this is still kind of expensive. I feel like it could be even cheaper than this. It should be around $10 range. It's a standard Nike t-shirt. And the prints are alright. This is a screen print. So too bad um, I couldn't get a Cavs jersey. But I do have this today. So this arrived yesterday from Fanatics. So NBA Lakers Purple Extra Large Men's Swingman from Fanatics. Freshly printed. So a couple stores, they're running out of this, um, or maybe not this colorway, but like the yellow one. Or a couple other colors. Um, I hear that they're kind of running low on stock. So if you are into Lakers or LeBron, it might be good to pick up early just in case. Sorry, I had got a Warriors here. Um, as you can see, this is LeBron James, and he kept the number twenty-three. So this is LA Lakers, LeBron James Swingman Jersey, MSRP is 110. But let's get right into it. So this neckline has extensions like Warriors and the previous Lakers Jersey. And the neckline feels pretty narrow. The angles are pretty steep right here. So it might fit tight around the neck compared to some of the uh, the other classic like round neck. Those are a lot looser around the neck so it feels comfortable but this one if you have a thick neck um, it might bother you a little bit. This line right here is a little bit off. So this part is a little too narrow on this area. So this is one area that you really have to check. It's this part, this contrasting color, as well as the line right here. With Warriors, there were a lot of issues, um, especially when they gather right here, the left and right, it could be off balance, or this line is not square enough. So make sure to check this area, as well as the contrasting color. To make sure left and right is evenly spaced. And the fabric itself is a regular rib knit, just like before. I don't think they made any adjustment to it. There's top stitch right here. If they didn't have this stitch right here, then the collar will go all over the place it'll be like going this way and the seam will cut into your skin and it won't be as comfortable 
And when you go into the inside, there's a taping right here to hide the seam. So as you can see, if you didn't have anything, you'll see this. It's not the previous thing. So just on the area that you see when you have a when you put it on a hanger, they have a taping and they use a white taping here. And they have a little issue here with stitching. It's the same color. It feels a little bit more narrow on the armhole rib. And it feels a little bit wider on this one. It could be just the way that they stitched it. They weren't, they did a pretty bad job on this. So it could be because of that. So as you can see here, it's not clean line. It's going back and forth. So you want to make sure to check this area before you buy. And not much warping around the shoulder. It's very minimal. That's really good. Oh, and by the way, this one is made in Guatemala. And I got extra large as usual. And on this side, this side's ribnet does feel thinner too. So I think that's the style that they were going for. And on the inside lining, all they did was fold this rib and put a serger on it. And there is no clean finish. So you see the seams. If this was a authentic jersey, there won't be any of these um, shown. They'll be all hidden inside a contrasting piece or extra tapings. So those are the prices that you have to pay to get a clean finish. It will be about 220 I think. A Nike swoosh. Just like before, it's a thin print. You can see the perforation from the fabric. It's shown through. That's how thin the prints are. And the Lakers logo. It's a white heat transfer patch. with yellow print and all the purple inside the letters like these areas they are cut out so they are the base fabric as you can see there's no print here it's not a and they're all in one piece which is good and to the number 23 it's a white font or white fabric with yellow outline and let's look at the edge so as you can see you see a little bit of whiteness at the very edge from the base fabric you see a little bit but it's not shown that badly we see all these fraying edges. That's not really good. But other than that, uh, yeah, so all these lines, you can see the frayed edges. So this was a pre order, so maybe they were in a hurry to ship them out. And they didn't do a good job cutting all these patches because so you see all the fibers through. Uh, not that many jerseys that I remember that I reviewed from last season had these issues. So if you are into quality and go for Nike.com orders. Or and then at the hem. Nike Connect, nothing has changed here, same thing, 
and hopefully next season they'll use this a little bit more often. Let's look at the back now. Neckline is the same as the front piece. It's the same fabric. It's just extending to the back. So it goes around. So it has the same color, yellow and purple. And if this was a round neck, they will have the stitch right here to connect the end of the rib knit. And the shoulder panel, no warping here, very minimal. Same with this side. And the armhole is the same fabric as the neckline. And this is also same piece too. They do connect uh, at the side seam right here. So this is all one piece, goes in a circle. Same on the other side. And let's look at the NBA logo. So this is a Swingman jersey, so it does have a, they are flat print. Jerry West and NBA is not embossed. And this is the name. The player names is in yellow. That means that these edges will be noticeable. So more than the front, on the back name part, these white edges are a little more noticeable. And just like the front number, the edges aren't clean as they usually are. It's not that perfect. And you can see all the fibers around here. And especially here. So this might bother some people. Um, so you can see here at the, the corner. It does bother me. And the fuzziness around the edge of the name. I'm not a big fan of it. I don't mind having the yellow, uh, white edges. Like an outline. But the fuzziness, I'm not feeling it. Um, let's go to the number. Same type of number as the front. White base with yellow outline. So just like the front, these numbers, um, the white edges aren't as noticeable. And I just noticed this, this patch right here. There's a lot of line, same as here. The quality of the patch is not that great. And I can't even see that in these. It's not bad from far away, but if you're a collector and if you're gonna look at it, you might wanna check before you purchase to make sure these edges are clean. Same was here. Side panel is a rectangular piece. Classic shape. But they do have a bias tape on each end for extra reinforcement and design touch. So these are the same fabric as the base fabric. Same type of perforation. And this bias tape is also a knit, so it does stretch a little bit. So these will stretch a little too, but not much. And they do have a little bit of spacing between the purple edge from the front panel or back panel and the 
white tape. That's about one sixteenth of an inch of yellow line going through. And I think that's a really nice detail without using extra fabrics. So this is a swing man jersey, so there is no slit. It's just straight across. So after looking at this new jersey, you can see that some of the details has some issue. And that could be because it's the first production. And as the season start, there might be more that has better quality. But if you are interested in picking up early, they are available at a couple different stores. So please check them out. And Fanatics and NBA.com, they have been doing a lot of discounts lately. So maybe if you're lucky, you might be able to pick these up at a discount price, like 20% off or something. And another thing I noticed was this jersey feels a little heavier compared to some of the other jerseys. So matter of fact, let me check real quick. This is the first one that I got last year. And this is the LeBron jersey. So let's wait the Clay Thompson jersey first. So it's zero zero. It's about ten point five ounce. That's Warriors from last year. And this is the LeBron's jersey. And it's eleven point three. So it's almost an ounce heavier. Uh, it does have this tag still, so maybe it has something to do with it too. But it's just one ounce, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal when you wear them. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, as well as liking the video. See you next time.